Oh, thank I you very much. I therefore second the nomination of Honorable Kabe to be the chair of the sitting today. Thank you very much, members. Uh, can I get any further nomination? Thank you, members. In the members, can we switch off our mics, please? Thank you. In the absence of further nomination, Ms. Manketi Kape is duly nominated and elected as the chapa, acting chairperson of this committee. Um, Ms. Kape, can you take your seat, please? Thank you. Thanks, Mayamza. Uh, um, thanks, uh, colleagues. And thanks for entrusting the facilitation of this portfolio committee with me today. Colleagues, I think we know the reason why the chairperson is not here. The chairperson has lost uh, his aunt, Ambassador Zinzi Mandela, who has been on our, our ambassador in Denmark. Again, this morning we received his uh, a communique that uh, he has lost his maternal grandma in Mfolo Soweto. I therefore, colleagues, also recall that uh, the Northwest province has just buried its former MEC for Kopta, Honorable Kehakilwe. Having said that, colleagues, can we observe a moment of silence in honor of this uh, fallen uh, comrade of our movement and the servants of uh, this government? A moment of silence, please. May the souls of those who departed rest in peace. Thanks, uh, colleagues. I think today's meeting we meeting here this morning to come and consider our report for adoption, the reports on the revised threat plan and APP of the department. Before we go into this report, can I check with our secretariat, our roll call and apologies, if we have any apologies from the PC members. Secretariat. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. We do not have any apologies from the members. The only apology that we received is from DM's culture. When they join, he will also leave earlier before we can finish our business. Thank you, ma'am. As we record the apology of that that of the chairperson officially, like I have indicated that he's having all these family bereavements and our prayers and thoughts are with his family. Without uh, wasting time, uh, can we then move to our next item uh, of uh, confirmation of the agenda? We will start, colleagues, today. The agenda has been circulated by Mema Ledu yesterday. We considering and adopting the committee report on the revised spread plan and the annual performance plan of the department. We expecting the department team to join us later at quarter to 10. And then we will be receiving update from the department on the development and finalization okay. of the register yeah, okay. in okay. all provinces. We will then no, have no, 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 comments no, 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 and responses by the no, 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 no. Then move to the item of a progress report again on the implementation of the constitutional court ruling regarding the settlement of labor tenants claims that will also be discussed by the portfolio committee then move on to highlight the key action points and that will be the agenda for today can i get uh, the presentation of the portfolio committee report from our is it the content advisors, Manyamza, that are taking us through this report? 
Yes, ma'am, correct. All right. Dr. Manenza and your team, Dr. Manenza. I'm handing over to the team on consideration of our reports. Thank you, Chair, and good morning, members. Uh, is the report on the screen? Nope. I'm trying to share. I'll see if I win. Yeah, it is there. It's there now. Yes. Okay, I'll ask for direction from the chair how we go about it. Do we summarize the entire report or we go to observations or recommendations? I think what you could do is just to touch on the key areas summary and what is important is our recommendations. That is where you will spend most of the time. According to our agenda, you have from now until 20 post 10. Thank you, Chair. Not 20 past 10. Got it too. I'll skip. I will skip through the introduction. It's just the background or giving the context I to this report and to also to highlight that this report doesn't replace the previous budget vote report that the committee skip, adopted on 29 May and it was later published in the ATC the on 5 June. This one is a supplementary to that report and, and only highlights that the budget adjustments to the vote the and the revised targets the on the APP. Adopted on 29 May and it was later published in the uh, ATC. The implications as members know. Um, what necessitated the adjustment to the budget uh, was the COVID-19 pandemic, the revised as well as the economic downturn that the country found itself in. In terms of the implications of the pandemic to the mandate or the work of the department, uh, for the most part, what affected the sector is the is Despite it being an essential service, the restrictions uh, on economic activities and earlier during the lockdown, uh, restrictions skip. on movement. I will skip. These have placed serious constraints in the manner in which the department carries the out its mandate. It's just As the members uh, would know that uh, most of the department's the functions are physical in nature and also some of its key activities are implemented in provinces and municipalities, which requires travel and also uh, group contact in terms of training and workshops and other activities. As a result of uh, these restrictions, the department has been unable to perform some of its function and therefore had to revise or suspend altogether some of the targets in the 2021 APP. In terms of the report, the committee, they adjust the, the adjustments to the budget, sorry. The committee has been briefed on this, uh, so I'll just highlight uh, them faster in terms of the numbers. But um, in summary, the department, the reduction to the entire budget of the department has been 2.4 billion in total. And this, when broken down, 300 million of this has been compensation of employees, which cuts across all programs. And 393 was in respect of transfers to the land bank, which I will touch on uh, when summarizing programs. 437.9 million in respect of conditional grants. 
624.6 uh, transfers to household for both food security and land reform. 338 uh, department agencies, that's uh, ALA and OVG, and approximately 300 million for goods and services. I just want to highlight that the reduction on compensation of employees, which has been implemented in all programs, is likely to impact on the filling of vacancies, particularly critical and senior management service positions, which in turn will impact the fulfillment of certain planned targets for the 2021 financial year. Table I'm on page three. Table one is a summary of the original budget that the committee adopted and the special adjustment for each program and what has been left of the original, that is the current budget in the last column. For program one, it's only the compensation of employees that saw a reduction of 86.6 million. However, there is a one target for program one. Previously, the department had three targets, but one target in respect of compliance to performance management frameworks has also been suspended. For program two, which is agric production, health, food safety, natural resources, and disaster management. In addition to 68 million for compensation of employees that has been suspended, there's been a further 120.7 million from the ILIMA, the Zima conditional grant that has also been suspended in this program. The committee has, um, during the deliberations, raised a concern in this regard, considering the challenges that households are already facing as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The revision in this program, most of the, as already mentioned, most of the physical contact and field activities have been suspended for the current financial year. And the target that requires the changing of um, cultivated fields from conventional to conservation agriculture has also been reduced from 10,000 hectares previously to 5,000 hectares currently due to limited uh, economic activity. Food security is the program that has been most affected by the reductions and the members have raised uh, serious concerns about this in terms of food security as well as land uh, acquisition in the form of land claims as well as land redistribution. A total of 1.9 billion has been reduced from uh, this program and the members concern us that this is one of the core programs of the department as it deals with food security and land reform. And the concern was how the department is likely to meet the NDP targets that are set in respect of this program. And the reduction uh, members of 1.9 is approximately 79% of the total reduction to the entire budget vote. Without going into details due to time, I'll go to rural development. For this program, the total, which also includes compensation of employees was uh, approximately 200 million that was suspended this is in respect of um, compensation of employees and infrastructure projects. 
the one of the targets that was reduced in this program is uh, support provided uh, to FPS use. This was uh, significant, significantly reduced from 130 to 15. Program five. In addition to compensation of employees, approximately 75 million has been suspended. And also 39.5 million that was going to be transferred to the land bank for AgriPE. For program five, all the targets in respect of FPS use have been suspended. And along with some of the training programs for cooperatives and also on manufacturing standards for smallholder farmers. The targets that are remaining in this program are those that have, uh, that are based on reports basically, the draft marketing of agricultural products amendment bill. The last program is land administration. 37.3 million in total was, uh, sorry, in, in respect of compensation of employees was suspended in this program. However, this program was also reallocated an additional 150 million for COVID-19 purposes. This was uh, specifically for this uh, registration work. Uh, members, um, I will go straight to committee observations and then my colleague, Dr. Manenze can add um, where I've left out some of the key issues. As, uh, the as in previous report, the key recommendations are not specific, uh, sorry, observations as well as recommendations are not specific but encompass everything. But one of the key observations and concern from the committee's side was the substantial reduction of 2.4 billion in the total budget of the department. This uh, is in the backdrop of the committee having concerned previously about the inadequate budget of the department, particularly for program three, which also saw a significant reduction of 1.9 billion. The second one is the suspension and revision of core service delivery targets, particularly in respect of food security and land reform programs. As a result of the suspension of some of these targets, the committee was concerned about the sustainability of subsistence and smallholder farmers because they are the main beneficiaries of the department support programs. The third one um, is in respect of land acquisition in terms of restitution and also redistribution. Where support to CPAs, the Tranka communities and labor tenants, sorry, remain the high priority. And therefore the budget reductions will have a negative impact on the success of these uh, government programs. The suspension of the marketing program uh, sorry, the draft marketing of agri products amendment bill has already mentioned, and members will recall that this is the only piece of legislation that was in the APP. The last one is the appreciation for the continued trade negotiations and engagements on bilateral and multilateral agreements in program five. However, 
in light of the suspension of core activities to support and capacitate uh, smallholder farmers, this could mean that the benefits of such agreements, particularly in respect of access to export markets, will benefit the well-established farmers or agribusinesses. That's all in terms of recommendations. I'll go straight to recommendations. As previously or already mentioned, this is a supplementary to the previous budget vote. And uh, when we looked at the previous recommendations, um, it was noted that all the recommendations are not necessarily affected by the adjustment or the revision. And uh, they still are noting that the, the budget, the previous budget was, the, was for the MTF period, not necessarily for one year. Therefore, all the recommendations in that report still apply. Mm -hmm. In addition to those, uh, it is recommended that the minister should submit the reviewed criteria for the COVID-19 Agricultural Disaster Support Fund, including a comprehensive progress report on its implementation and funding arrangements. Just to remind person I we just want you. to make sure that no, we lost them yeah we lost her yeah we lost her I'm also not hearing anything Dr. Manenza, Dr. Manenza uh, can you step in sure thanks okay. um oh she's still oh Knox I'm not in charge of that so I don't know where can you hear can us you I can hear I can hear Dr. Manenje. I was on recommendations. Maybe okay. you can start there. No, no, can finish up. No, you yes, can finish up, Nogzola. Finish up. Oh, you can hear me now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's it's load shedding. <laughs> or maybe it's a power trip. It's not time for load shedding anyway. Um I was seeing uh, the recommendations, the previous recommendations on the budget vote report that the committee adopted in May still remain. Uh, the adjustments do not necessarily affect those recommendations. They still apply. In addition, uh, for this report, it is recommended that the minister should uh, submit a re the reviewed criteria for the COVID-19 Agricultural Disaster Support Fund, including the progress report on its implementation and funding arrangements. Secondly, as uh, has been highlighted that the core services or core targets have been revised and some suspended, an action plan should be submitted that outlines how the departments would catch up on delivery of those core services in respect of land, food security, and farmer support over the MTSF period so that they can meet uh, the NDP targets that are set out for the department. The last one is the report that indicates specific land reform and conditional grant funded projects that have been affected by the adjustment of the budget and the revisions in the APP. And the report should also include uh, specific locations of the projects and the type of projects that were planned and the impact on service delivery. That's all members. Um, thank you. I'm not sure if Dr. Manenja want to add or if members Dr. have Manenja, questions. Do you have additions? No, no, thank you. It's it's all all good. Thank you. Thanks, uh, and thanks, uh, Menok Zola, for presentation of our report.
Colleagues, like we have indicated, this is the report that uh, has been compiled on our behalf. It uh, indicates our discussions and the recommendations that we did on the revised adjustment budget and the APP that was presented to us by the department. Like uh, the presenter indicates, it does not replace the former report that we adopted. Can I have an indication on members that wants to talk to what has just been presented? Any additions, checking against your notes? Is there any omissions or something that you'd want to add? So we are Chairperson? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Uh, firstly, I want to thank um, uh, the, the this, the team that has uh, put this together. Chair, I, I just want to find out from 5.2.1 specifically, because I can remember asking uh, the impact on, on current programs that were on the way. Um, for instance, someone was supposed to be getting, you know, over three years CASP support in I so I, I'm not sure if it needs to go into 5.2.1 or 5.2.2, but the effect of current programs that were already in the three year cycle uh, were these budget cuts. I think we need to get from the department a stronger sense of how that will be impacted. I remember last week when we saw the slides on provinces where we all felt strongly that it looked like, you know, uh, a, a, a cut and paste uh, job where we couldn't really see how the impact on the provinces will be affecting uh, farmers on the ground. So I think some way we need to get a stronger sense of a proper uh, uh, pro program uh, or a presentation um, on, on this impact. A chairperson. That is my only concern. That I don't think that section is is uh, captured strongly enough. Thanks, uh, Honourable Stain. Honourable Marshal, do you have anything? Honourable Marshal, are you there? Can we? Ma'am, I think she fell off. I do not okay. see her in the participant list. Let me give you the platform, Honorable Briet. <laughs> I am covered. Oh, I am covered by, by what Honorable Stain said, and I really want to commend our uh, really amazing, um, you know, committee staff for their their work. I do not think it is easy. Um, so I am covered. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Honorable Briet. Honorable Chate. Honorable Chate. Yes, Honorable Chair. Um, Chair, everything has been captured very well. And um, for now, I don't have any additions or omissions on the report. Thank you. Thanks, Ma. Honorable Matias. Is Honorable Matthias still locked in? Can you now hear me? Yes. Okay. I've already passed my greetings to all and sundry. Uh, the, the contribution that I would want to make to, to add on the recommendations is that in the last meeting we raised this concern with the the department that uh, we are not so sure of the capacity of the department to help all emerging black farmers uh, in terms of farmer support program. We also noted that of the 55,155 emerging small farmers who applied for COVID-19 support, only 15,000 of such applications were processed. 
it means where the department is sitting with about 40,000 unsuccessful applications. We then said to the department, going forward, they need to present a plan on how they are going to assist the 40,000 remaining applicants. Because it's, it's pointless to call on our people to make applications for COVID-19 relief measures. And the majority of those applicants are left out. So let it be noted and highlighted and be factored in as part of the recommendations we're making going forward. Thank you so much, Abizan. Thanks, uh, Honorable Matthias. Honorable Kabekulu. Posi Kabekulu. Chairperson, I, I don't think I have any comment on. I take the report as, as, as it is. Thank you. Kialebo Hamarena. Honorable Muntedi. Is Honorable Muntedi with us? Ma'am, I'm not seeing him. Okay, can we move to Honorable Mashati then? Thank you very much, Chair. Um, from my side, I don't have any um, new inputs. Instead, I'll move for the adoption of the report. All right, it's noted. Honorable Mbaba, Nothing from me, Chair. Thank you. Thanks, Honorable Mbaba, Honorable Masipa. Uh, Chair, I do not have any additional input, but I think the the note with regards to the food security budget cut of about 23 percent is a concern. I think is noted, and obviously the issue of the um, land reform um, is also noted. And um, they are serious concern, and I think um, it's very important uh, that uh, we are aware, and uh, obviously we. We debate going forward as to how we're going to really bridge that particular gap. Thanks, Chair. Thanks, Ntatema uh, Sipa. Honorable Kapa. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'm also joining my colleagues in appreciating the presentation and uh, agreeing this with the inputs. Uh, my little, little, little concern was that on that page to where it was said most of the activities were, were, were suspended. Uh, whereas maybe critically, the, is the, is, 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 I mean, it's the critical activities that involve that program, uh, but which, has, which forms part of, or which becomes the core function of the department in that food security. Uh, but I think all in all, this covers the understanding of the of the committee, but only that part that emphasizes is as if now, in that that case of most, to some to some extent, does not emphasize on this which was being made uh, mentioned now by the previous speaker. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, uh, Honourable Kappa. Members, did I leave anybody else out? Anybody? Memasso is not yet back, Moses. Okay. Let me also agree with my colleagues, uh, the Secretariat, on the good work that we have done in compiling this report. We really appreciate, and I think it captures the essence of our discussions as and when we were presented with uh, this report. I agree also with the recommendations. And having said that, there has been uh, issues that has been indicated by Honorable Stein, Honorable Matthias. Can we have your uh, input on that? Can we have response? Men Oxola and the team, Dr. Manenza. Thank you, Chair. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. <laughs> okay. Um, I will start with the input from Mrs. Stein. 
I think that um, unless members uh, differ is covered on the last recommendation, that is 5.2.3, where the committee, uh, where it is recommended that the minister should submit a report that indicates the specific land reform projects and also the projects that are funded through conditional grants that will be affected by the revisions and the adjustment to the budget, including the impact on service delivery. Otherwise, we, we can uh, beef up that one. And uh, in respect to Mr. Matias's um, input on COVID, I think that we can also include on 5.2.1 or otherwise it can also easily be made a separate recommendation that is specific to those uh, applicants that were not that were not covered in the original um, 55000 for the covid-19 fund um dr manenje i'm not sure if you want to add no thanks you yeah that's we agree that that should be uh, the way we we incorporate members consents and i think when we speak about the specific projects um uh, they we took it from the committee's discussion where it was concerned about what is going to happen with particularly the infrastructure uh, projects in the rural development uh, program like a particular if there was going to be a uh, for example, a building of a, a a bridge. I'm just giving an example. What's going to happen to that? Or like Ms. Dane, if we were going to get uh, 50 million, for example, and that's not coming, what's going to happen to that community? And over the years, that's why we link it with the N NDP targets. So I agree that all what uh, members suggested they are, in a way we thought we included them but we can build up those specific recommendations that uh, nokuzola spoke about thanks um thanks uh, colleagues i think we should agree that to beef up 5.2.3 with the addition that uh, honorable stain has indicated and that other one, the submission from Honorable Matthias, uh, let it be a standalone, don't beef up 5.2, because we want to monitor that, and there has been an expectation and a promise that we made to our farmers that didn't make it with the first uh, COVID relief. Let that be a standalone, a standalone recommendation. I think... Thank uh, you, Chair. Honorable members, let's go then to the adoption of the report. Honorable Mashati, if you can go back to what you suggested earlier on before honorable members uh, had a bite on the report for record purposes. Thank you very much, honorable chair. Uh, I therefore move for the adoption of the report with the amendments made, thank you. Honorable Mashati moves. Can I have a seconder for the motion? Yes, Chair. I second the adoption of the report. Honorable Busi Chwede, if you could just identify yourself, this is virtual. Oh. Sorry, Chair. Um, Honorable Mrs. Wilshred, uh, support the move to adopt the report with amendments. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, uh, Honorable Members. I take that the report is uh, duly adopted with those amendments that we have made. At this stage, honorable members, we are expecting the department to join us, to log in so that we continue with the second leg of our today's PC from 10 o'clock. Don't log out, just switch off your mics and um, videos until they, they, we can confirm 
we should be starting exactly at 10 with our next presentations. Can we do that? Don't go too far. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chair, just on a, a technical thing, uh, will we be able to get the um, amended report today? Uh, just to, to, to check on that, because I don't think it, it needs a lot of uh, changes. It's just a bit of beefing up. Dr. Valenza and Oxola. Yes, Chair, that can be yeah. done. Please do that and circulate it to all honorable members. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's continue oh. around 10 or 10 exactly again. Don't lock Long out. Yeah. Long live chair. Thank you. Thank you, chair. I second the long live part. What's what's long live part, uh, Matlatsi? What's long live? Long live the honorable chair. <laughs> oh, I thought it's long live uh, honorable Masipa. Okay. <laughs> no, long live <laughs> honorable Masipa Gunzema. Gunzema. Ah, Gunzema, Tata Gunzema. You say this wound is not healing, eh? Yo, I can see my man. Yo, I can. Uh, this wound is not healing. Eh? We must. Uh, yeah. I we must can. God, has, God must have mercy on us. Our people <laughs> are dying. Our people <laughs> are sick. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, terrible. it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. You know, two of my colleagues, uh, think, my former. Let's go make a coffee. <laughs> are you going to You want me to join you I'm in Cape Town? <laughs> yeah, let's go and have coffee and come back at 10 o'clock. <laughs> sharp, sharp. Sure. See you in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is not live, eh? <laughs> it is, actually. It's live. <laughs> also, how are you going to go to the kitchen, Gata de Masip? That's what I'm interested, Minister. <laughs> Are you joining and us, I'm Minister, for a cup of coffee? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm still wondering how the two of you are going to go to each other's kitchen. <laughs> We're already in the kitchen, Minister. <laughs> Are you both in the kitchen? <laughs> Masipa, you must respond. You started the kitchen story. <laughs> <laughs> but is everybody keeping well? Hey, we are, sis. Yes, but it's, but it's, it's, hey, yeah. Dips, personally, I'm I'm back on level five. <laughs> I Yo, get, very it's very bad out there. I'm on level five. You know, gonna, <laughs> yeah, Kunze. I, 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 I grab my now because I didn't go to the kitchen. I just grabbed my blanket. It's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing and, and uh, yeah. extremely cold. Yeah, in the eastern yeah. Cape. Yeah, no, it's very no cold. No kitchen for you, honourable stay. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not now. Luckily. Not today. <laughs> I've had two days of low chilling in the afternoon, and then it's ice, ice cold. Mm, shame, man. So, and it's also very cold, eh? Mm, I so, very cold. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but this cold, it. Hey, mm -mm. You know, Minister, it's quite bad. Two of the people whom I knew passed on yesterday. 
Oh, no. You know, I don't think there's anybody know now who doesn't know someone or a relative or a friend who has not been affected. Yeah. And I yeah. hope that will also help us to really change behavior. Because sometimes you, you still get a sense that other people are even doubting that this thing is there. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I came back. Tell me. Um, I can't recreate it. I can't meet you. I expect how can you succeed? 